Right, welcome to our next lecture on our web development series. Now before I get started with the various other tags we'll cover today, I want to talk about something known as nested tags. So currently we see all these different tags. We see start tags and end tags. We see some paragraph tags, a title tag. But can you see or can you visualize the nested part of this? We have our overall HTML tag, all right? That means that I can tab all of this. Or my bad, I forgot the body. Um, we can tab all of this, all right? Because the HTML tag is the overarching tag. Now inside of this, the title tag can be tabbed and the paragraph tab or paragraph tag can be tapped. Ha, ah, that's hard to say. So this is basically what the HTML structure is. All right, we haven't changed anything, but we've stylistically improved the code. Now, obviously it doesn't, that doesn't matter. We could easily have just done this like we did and this works perfectly fine. But just so that you understand what the nested tags mean, I showed you that, hey, you have tags inside of tags, which are inside of tags, etc. So we covered the paragraph tag. Let's go ahead and talk about the HTML headings. HTML have six different headings from H1 through H6, okay? So let's go ahead and write H1, close the tag. And inside of this, I'm gonna just show this a really easy way. Heading one, and then let's go ahead and do heading two, heading two, close it, heading three, H3, uh, let's go over here, heading three, and I'll do one more because H4 or H5 and H6 will be pretty straightforward once you see these four, and H4. Let's go ahead and save this. I uh, would not like to purchase right now, and let's refresh, and immediately you can see the difference. Headings are what they stand for. It's a heading, big, bold text. Heading one is the biggest, Heading two is slightly smaller, three is even smaller, four is smaller, five and six go on after that. And you use headings to basically signify a header. Maybe you have an overall title or an overall theme and you wanna use a header tag to show that. That's where you'd use H1, H2, H3, and H4. Now I know what you're wondering. Can I change the size of this heading? Yes, yes you can. And we won't be covering this now, but with CSS, what you'll be able to do is, let's say you have a very big website and the H1 size given does not fit your requirements. What you can do is change the H1 font size to make it as big as you're liking. So these are the heading tags. We've covered the paragraph tags. Let's go ahead and take a look at link tags. So the link tag, even though it starts with LI, you use the A. They're defined with the A tag. So go ahead and type A. And then let's go ahead and end the A, all right? And inside of this, I'm gonna say, click here. Let's go ahead and leave it like this, save and refresh. And we see click here up here, but there's nothing to click on, right? It's not taking us anywhere. And the reason for that is because we haven't set an href. An href, it's basically known as an attribute of a tag. The href is the link's destination. So what I want you to do is between A and the ending tag, I want you to type href is equal to, and then in quotation marks, um, let's go ahead and stick with Wikipedia since we were using it in the last example. href is equal to wikipedia.org, all right? Save this, refresh, and now immediately you can see that the link has turned blue with an underline. If you click this, it takes us to www.wikipedia.org, but it says file cannot be found. That's because we did not specify an HTTP. If we don't specify that, then HTML, Chrome, the web browser thinks that you're trying to access a file, all right, which you don't want to do. So let's go ahead and save that, refresh or go back, click on this, and now we're taking to wikipedia.org, all right? So href is an attribute of the anchor tag. A stands for anchor. Whenever you want to specify where the link goes to, you'd say href is equal to, and then the link. Great. So we've covered h1 tags, we've covered anchor or link tags. Let's go ahead and talk about an empty tag. Suppose I want to have a break in a sentence. This is our first website. I want this part to go on the next line. 
I can do that by using something known as a break tag. All I have to do is say, uh, open the tag, br, close the tag. And the nice part about the break tag is that it's empty. What an empty tag means is that even though you have an opening tag, you do not have an ending or a closing tag that doesn't exist. So br stands by itself. And what this does is it creates a break. So let's go back to our website, refresh, and immediately you can see this is our website break. I can't wait for the things to come. So all the break tag did was it created a new line. Basically it created a new line and put everything that's after the break tab onto the next line. So it's quite useful when you want to modify your contents in some way, you wanted to go onto the next line, etc. That's the break tag. The second type or another empty tag, right? We were talking about exceptions to this opening and closing tag is the horizontal tag. The horizontal tag adds a line onto your web page. So open your tag, HR, close your tag. Save this, refresh, and now you see this nice, beautiful line. Sure, you may be wondering, what's the purpose? Why do I need it? Well, you're able to set the width of this line and it looks really nice in some websites. Now, I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you. You may be wondering, oh my God, all these tags, you have links, you have horizontal lines, paragraphs, header tags, oh my God, break tags. What do I do with all this information? Trust me, just take some time to assimilate it. Yes, there's a lot of different tags. We are just touching the iceberg, the tip of the iceberg with these HTML tags, but just make sure you've understood these three or four for now. You have link tags that have an href attribute. You have break tags that create new lines. You have header tags which specify the different headings of your web page, and then you have horizontal line tags. The horizontal line tag just creates an HR or a horizontal line on your web page. Great job, guys. We covered some basic HTML tags, and I'll see you in the next lecture.